kind uh, of wave hound, huh? Now, this is, um, just like in the second game, they introduced a, cu a couple new, a new field type and a new dungeon type. This, too, is a brand new dungeon type for this game. And it actually kind of has that almost magical Norse feel that the original quadrilogy had with the trees and the markings on them and stuff. I like it. I approve. So we got to go find us a heat wave hound, though. A dog, that is... Okay, Dudes! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I was expecting there to be a cutscene there. But apparently... I'm just not paying that much attention. Well, look, I wanted to run Gekia, but there's a recharge, and do I have fast recharge on? Yeah, I do have quick charge on. Now, these Ignis Tails here have a uh, counter fire, so you usually can't get off a full combo, and you guys have to go and kill it. Uh, more dudes. Now, since I like spamming Rengekis, and Rengekis take a lot of, uh, the level 3 Rengekis take a lot of SP, or the level 3 skills take a lot of SP, I'm probably going to be using Broadsword a lot, if only because, um, it absorbs SP, which is nice. The trick is to do this as much as possible, which will not only level up your skills, it'll level up the level three, or level up your skill, it'll level up the level three skills. It also gets you morale, which means you can data drain more. And man, if you are data draining more, then you are getting virus cores and powering up your weapons. They're rewarding you in so many ways for murdering everyone. Now, what am I looking for? A fairy sword. Okay, so I want to go up. Oh! Really? Up? Where's the cutscene then? I could have sworn it was in. Maybe it's in the next room. You know what? I'm going to go straight and see if I can't trigger that cutscene. Because. Cutscene. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Or not. Fine, be that way, game. I'm just gonna go up then. Actually, you know what? No, I might as well just like beeline to the end of this dungeon. No point in me worrying all of you with my shenanigans of murder tube. Just with the stab and in the run and in the more stab and in the the the, the slashing. I like charging up. I do. I really like charging up. But it is a difficult thing to do. It's especially difficult when the dude that I'm charging up on is doing... Say, uh, I, got, I, I was like talking, and then I wasn't talking, and then everything that was in my head just kind of fluttered away, like some kind of thing that flutters.
more birds. I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm apparently not good at speaking. Guess what I got? Oh no, he's still alive! Quick, stab him! That was a good battle. Yes, Syllabus, that was a great battle. That was clearly worth the fight. Now, with the, um, Awakening... It's still only level 1, but the more you use it, the uh, higher level it gets, and as it levels up, the animation actually changes, and it does more damage. Neat stuff. Onwards, then, to block two. Block two. Two. Hang a light. And then I keep running. And running. And running. And running. And then there's a big old room. And I'm going to walk in this room. Huh? What's wrong? I thought I saw something over there. I guess I'm imagining things. <laughs> ah! I, I felt... I felt something! Huh? I just felt something. It was creepy! What do you mean by something? Well... I don't know, but it's here in this room! There's nothing in here. Wait. It looks like something kicked up a cloud of dust. Is that a heat wave hound? Maybe. They did say that it could disguise itself. Now that said, I do have a uh, minor dungeon rant prepared for the day. Which is going to come in the form of me commenting on this turn of events that we saw in the game at just moments ago. But first... Yeah. You see, at first glance, that um, cutscene that we just saw is a rather clever plot twist that seems like it could potentially be well executed. But when you actually stop and start thinking about it, it's actually kinda stupid. I mean, keep in mind that, um, where am I going? I'm going, I'm going up. Keep in mind that Sakaki is like 10 years old. What we just saw there was, essentially it'd be like if Microsoft decided that for the next Halo game, instead of their team of developers with college degrees and decades of experience, they would instead bring in a fourth grader who had just mastered his multiplication tables and still needs adult and or guardian permission to so much as go to the bathroom. But he plays Halo a lot despite being not old enough to even... or despite not even being old enough for the um, age requirement on the box. Also, he's the leader of an anti-Halo I mean, really, it's like... I said this game does a lot of things good and a lot of things bad. And though I like the plot twist, I like where they're going with it, I like what they're doing with it, but in the end of the day, it's pretty stupid. Again, it's 
CC Corp decided, hey, let's put a 10-year-old in charge of the entirety of the world. Despite the fact that I completely forgot what I was doing. Despite the fact that he is clearly evil incarnate and wants nothing but his own personal gain. And he they're putting a 10-year-old in charge of their everything. I cannot express how stupid that is. Okay, full morale gauge, but we have two living dudes. You know what, I'll use it. Now, the size of the enemy actually determines how many virus cores you get. Small enemies only give you one, medium-sized enemies give you two, and large enemies give you three. Um, as we saw there, I'm going back the way I came, one medium and one small gave us three virus cores. Now, this is kind of a complaint that I have with um, all of GU, and it's something that I've mentioned a lot up until, up until now. And I'd very much like not to repeat myself, so cutscene. He ran this way! Quick, get him! But the, the overall complaint is how unrealistic GU is. I mean, the original Quadrilogy, it did some fantastic things, but it still fair, very much felt like a real-world possible kind of thing. I mean, a little fantastical, but still pretty good. Whereas this game, it's they just went full on into fantasy. They just full on all cylinders fire and fantasy. What can we do to make this as unrealistic as possible? And um, I'm not going to complain anymore about that now. There is something else I kind of want to mention about that later on, but um, I'll worry about talking about that later on. He ran this way. See, he was standing in there, and then you saw the little dust go this way. So he's clearly going this way. Empty room, eh? I don't like empty rooms. They make me feel nervous. My video gamer instincts has told me that bad things happen in large empty rooms. Where'd it go? It went somewhere. And by somewhere, I mean probably this way. If my memory serves me correctly. Hey, another large empty room, only it has enemies in it and they were hiding in the corner. Well, I already walked past them, so heck with them. I never liked them anyway. That was a pretty long hallway, it just kind of goes. And hey, more dudes! I'm alright with dudes. What's our stats at? We could use some more SP. No, 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 move, dudes. I need you to not be standing right where I need to run. Gob dank! <laughs> And I totally just knocked his stuff right off of him. <laughs> no, 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 give Rengeki. Yeah. 
eat it. One of you is maybe alive, or not. One of you is not alive. Really? Dead end? Okay then, I guess I was mistaken. So we're gonna turn around and go the other way, which is totally the way that the dog ran. Because he's a dog or something, and he likes going places. Actually, he probably went down in here. Hey, guy, you guys seen a heat wave pound around here? No? Alright. Well, thanks for the help. We'll just kinda... We'll just kinda have to murder you a little bit, and then we'll be on our way and uh, let you let you about your business. No, I lost a Rengeki. It must have been on the guy I killed. And then I just hit him a whole lot, and I get so much SP back. It's great. And then we got a thing. We could probably use some more SP. And this looks like a dead end. I don't think it's here. How about over there? Uh, nothing. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, you two? G Gaspard, look behind you. <laughs> you worry too much for your own good, Syllabus. There's nothing here! And even if there were something dark and creepy lurking around here, I'm an experienced high-level warlock! I'm not afraid of some stupid dog monster! I don't know. He's not so much a dog as he is, like, a building. Oh wow, he just goes. Jeez. Here goes. Quick, stab it. That will surely solve all our problems. This guy actually really isn't all that hard. He has he has like a couple little spells here and there. And then he has this attack where he kind of just leaps around a bit. And then I Rengeki him, and then I get enough affection today to drain him, and... I will be doing that as often as physically possible, by the way. I have a little thing that says R1 over my head. It probably means I can use a skill. But I think I'm gonna hold off right now and just kinda stab a dog. Now I'll do it. You gotta wait for the key time, man. Ow. He's not so bad, he's just big. Pooh, 
into the data drain again, but I don't think we're going to be able to because down he goes. <sighs> that was a little too close. Not really. Oh, man. That scared me. What do you mean? I'm the one who was scared. Well, I was more scared than the both of you. I guess we've cleared it. Let's go report to the quest shop. Thanks for everything today, Haseo. It got a little hectic there, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, today was really fun. Let's do this again. Murdering dudes fun. And I got a scroll. I got a scroll. Good for me. And a book. I got a scroll and a book. Scroll and a book. Scroll and a book. Where's my scroll and book? I got a book. Physical defense. I like that. I got a hunter scroll. What's a hunter scroll do? Where is a hunter scroll? It should be in. Oh, it's probably a key item. Yep, there it is. Maybe that's it. No, it was the scroll. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Well, we got emails. So let's go check our email. So, here's a new post on the forum. And once again, Train Dog is falling for a girl that PK'd him because they don't intentionally choose attractive characters to lure you off guard at all. No. But yeah, the chaotic PKers are back and causing mischief. And we get the third word, Berserker. Now, if we use that keyword, we can go to an area where it's guaranteed that a um, battle area will show up, which will then most likely have a dude in it for us to murder. And Cillabro's all happy for us. And Gaspard's all happy for us, because he was worried about us. What a good guy. No matter what was going on, those guys always played the world like they really meant it. They communicated with people like they really meant it. They're good guys. They really are. For them. And for Shino. I won't run away from the world. All right, so Pi wants to have a little bit of a business meeting. And we are to go to Theta Hidden Forbidden Hades, a lost ground where we can talk without Sakaki noticing. I seem to remember him being able to know what's going on on lost grounds, but maybe she has something else in mind. Sakaki. What are those jerks at CC Corp thinking? Apparently not much. I should invite Pi and Adelie and head to Theta Hidden Forbidden Hades. However, that I'm going to save for next time. Until then, everyone.